Five months after two young York County girls were abducted and then killed by their father, we're now learning the police agency in charge of the investigation won't face charges for how they handled the case. Seth Kaplan here now with the details on this one. Good afternoon to you, Seth. Hey, James. Yeah, who could forget those two girls? Gigi and Mina, as their mom and other family friends called them. Their father, Robert Vicosa, suspected of abducting and then killing them before killing himself and he hoped that they would be found alive, ended with this scene south of Chambersburg across the Maryland state line. The question AG Josh Shapiro's office has now answered is about what happened four days earlier when their mother first reported them missing. She complained York Regional Police didn't respond quickly enough when Robert Focosa allegedly violated an order to stay away. I want to show you a statement that we got from the attorney general's office. They have said the private criminal complaint against the chief of the York area regional police department filed by Ms. Ficosa, the mother of two young girls killed in November has been withdrawn. Our office's investigation of this matter has now been closed. That being said, our office has provided a detailed letter to the district attorney to review and outlined our major concerns with certain lapses and decisions leading up to this tragic situation. Now, the AG's office won't tell us what was in that letter. We've asked York County District Attorney Dave Sunday's office to see the letter. Uh, James, Dave told us they're reviewing that request and will get back to us. And needless to say, as soon as they share it with us, if in fact they do, we'll share it with you. All right, so Seth, th that this complaint has been withdrawn and then the Attorney General's office saying that this is closed for them, does that necessarily mean that this is the end? Uh, not necessarily because you could have civil action as well. This was a private criminal complaint. It, it, it was a, a hastily written note from the mother. Right. Uh, uh, while this was all beginning, this complaint filed before the tragic end to the case, and so uh, you had the attorney, the district attorney's office referred it to the attorney general's office now referred back to them. So the end of that, not to say that it's the end of any uh, ramifications from what happened. It'll be interesting to see if you get it, what is inside that letter from the AG's office. It, it, it will. And, and we've also reached out to York Regional Police to ask for their reaction to this. You know, I mean, uh, look, clearly no, no, nobody's going to be uh, anything more than Glad to move past this part of, of, of the case because, uh, you know, those, those, those two girls in everybody's memory. Absolutely. But questions were raised. I know you've been on the story from the beginning and now you'll stay on it. Seth, thank you very much for that important update.